Okay, continuing with our problems and applying percent, we are on to mixture problems. So this is lesson 17. So before you get on to this, you might want to review the relationships between ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. And once you've done that, you can continue the video. All right, so let's take a look at the opening exercise. Let's take, um, let's see how percents are used to compare and talk about mixtures. So imagine you have two equally sized containers. One is pure water and the other is 50% water and 50% juice. If you combine them, what percent of juice would be the result? So you have your chart. Let's go ahead and fill it out with the information. So the first liquid is one gallon, and if we compare that to juice, well if that first gallon is pure water, then obviously the quantity of juice would be zero, and that's equal to one, a hundred percent, or one times zero, meaning that there's no juice. So your answer is zero amounts of pure juice. When you take a look at the second one, the second liquid, it's one gallon. However, the juice quantity is 50%. So 50% of one gallon would give us a quantity of 50% or 5 tenths of the liquid is um, pure juice. So now if we add those together, we have one gallon plus one gallon is two gallons. But what is the amount of pure juice? Well, the pure juice is from the second liquid, which is 5% or 50% or 5 tenths. But now we have two gallons of milk or two gallons of water or two gallons of liquid. And so what is the percent of that? So if you do that, 5 tenths divided by 2 is going to give us 25%. So the resulting mixture of juice is 25% because 5 tenths divided by 2 is the same as 1 fourth. So if a 2 gallon container of pure juice is added to 3 gallons of water, what percent of the mixture is pure juice? So we're going to let x represent the percent of pure juice in the resulting juice mixture, just like we did the first one. And we set up our table. So the amount of liquid in gallons is 2 gallons, and how much of that was pure juice? Well, 100% of it. So that would be 1 times the 2 gallons, which gives us 200, or two, 2 gallons, basically, of pure juice. When we add that to 3 gallons of liquid, that is basically no juice. Well, that would be 0% times 3 is going to give us a quantity of 0 um, gallons of pure juice. So now when we add that together, 2 plus 3 is 5, and the result of pure juice would be 2 plus 0 is 2, and we have 5 gallons. So now 2 divided by 5 we're asking what is the percent of juice in the water? Well, that would be 0%, okay? Because there is no juice in water, and that's represented by here. How much pure juice will be in the resulting mixture? Well, there's 2 gallons of pure juice in the resulting mixture because it was added to the first liquid. And so what percent is pure juice out of the resulting mixture? it would be 40% because 2 divided by 5 is going to give us 4 tenths, which is 40%. All right, so if a 2-gallon container of juice mixture that is 40% pure juice is added to 3 gallons of water, what percent of the mixture is pure juice? So again, let's take a look at setting up our table. So 2 gallons of the first liquid contains 40% juice. So that means that that's 40% times 2, then the quantity is actually 80% or 8 tenths of the gallon. And we're going to add that to 3 gallons of just water, which means that there is no juice in the water, so 0 times 3 gallons is 0. So if we add these together, 2 plus 3 is 5, 
8 tenths plus 0 is 8 tenths, and we have now 5 gallons of juice, or 5 gallons of liquid. So 8 tenths divided by 5, when we ask how many gallons of juice mixture is pure juice, well, that was from the first problem. 2 times 40% or 40 hundredths is 0.8 gallons. And what percent of pure juice is out of the resulting mixture? Again, 8 tenths divided by 5 is 16%. So does this make sense relative to the prior problem? Well, yes, because the mixture should have less juice than the prior problem. All right, so let's take a look at this one. If a two-gallon juice cocktail, cocktail that is 40% juice, or pure juice, is added to three gallons of pure juice, what percent of the resulting mixture is pure juice? So we have, again, our two gallons, and if it's 40% juice, and that means eight-tenths of the gallon is pure juice, we're going to add that to three gallons of pure juice. So that means 100% times 3 is going to be 3. When we add these together, 2 plus 3 is 5. And when we add 8 tenths plus 3, we get 3 and 8 tenths is equal to x times 5. So what is the difference between this problem and the previous problem? Well, instead of adding water to two gallons of juice mixture, pure juice is added, so the resulting liquid contains three and eight tenths gallons of pure juice. So what percent is pure juice out of the resulting mixture? Well, three and eight tenths divided by five. Let's go ahead and represent that. So we have five gallons times whatever the percent is, is equal to 40% times the two gallons, plus 100% times the 3 gallons. Well, that gives us 5 times x is equal to 0.8 plus 3, which is 5 times x is equal to 3.8, or 3 and 8 tenths, and therefore x is equal to 76 hundredths. So the mixture is 76% pure juice. So what pattern do you see in setting up the equations? Well, again, it's the same quantity is equal to percent times whole. The sum of parts or mixtures is equal to the resulting mixture. For each juice mixture, you multiply the percent of the pure juice by the total amount of the juice. So how is the form of the expressions and equations in the mixture problem similar to population problems from the previous lesson? For example, finding out how many boys and girls wear glasses. Well, you just as you would multiply the subpopulations, such as boys and girls, by the given category, students wearing glasses, to find the percent in the whole population. Mixture problems parallel the structure of population problems. In mixture problems, the subpopulations are the different mixtures, and the category is a potency of the given element. In this problem, the element is pure juice. All right, so let's take a look at example one. A five gallon container of trail mix is 20% nuts. Another trail, is, trail mix is added to it, resulting in a 12 gallon container of trail mix that is 40% nuts. So for part A, write an equation to describe the relationships in this situation. Well, we're going to let J represent the percent of nuts in the second trail mix that is added to the first trail mix to create the resulting 12 gallon container of trail mix. So, we have 12 gallons of trail mix at 40% nuts, so that's 4 tenths. That is equal to the first part, 20%, which is 5 gallons, plus some percent, which is the difference of 12 minus 5, which in this case would be 7. Explain in words how each part of the equation rela relates to the situation. Well, the quantity is equal to the percent times the whole. The resulting gallons of trail mix times the resulting percent of nuts, which is right here, is equal to the first trail mix in gallons times the percent of nuts, which is right here, plus the second trail mix in gallons times the percent of nuts, which is right here. 
So what percent of the second trail mix is nuts? Well, let's figure this out. 4 tenths times 12 is 4 and 8 tenths. 2 tenths times 5 is 1. And j times the quantity of 12 minus 5 is 7, so 7 times j. Remember that this is not 8j, because 1 does not have a j with it. So we have to isolate j, which means we have to subtract 1 from both sides to make it even or equivalent, so 4.8 minus 1, and 1 minus 1 plus 7j. So that would give us 3 and 8 tenths is equal to 7j. And therefore when we divide 3.8 by 7 we get 0.5429 and it keeps going but that's going to be equivalent to j. So about 54% of the second trail mix is nuts. So what information is missing from this problem? Well, the amount of the second trail mix, but we can calculate that easily because it is the difference of the total trail mix and the first trail mix. So how is this problem different from the opening exercises? Well, instead of juice, the problem is about trail mix. Mathematically, this example is not asking for the percent of a certain quantity in the resulting mixture, but rather asking for the percent com composition of one of the trail mixes being added. So how is the problem similar to the opening exercises? Well, we are still using quantity is equal to the percent times the whole. Is the answer reasonable? Well, yes, because the second percent of nuts in the trail mix should be a percent greater than 40% since the first trail mix is 20% nuts. All right, let's try our hand at exercise one. Do this on your own, and you can check your answer after each section by continuing the video. All right, you should be done with part A. Check your answer, and then try part B. All right, here is the answer to part B. When you're done with this, try part C. And here is the answer to part C. Again, if there's anything that is confusing or you think there's an error, make a note of it and bring it to class. All right, let's go ahead and do example two. So soil that contains 30% clay is added to soil that contains 70% clay to create 10 gallons of soil containing 50% clay. How much of each of the soils was combined? So we're going to let X be the amount of soil with 30% clay because that's kind of the beginning of our problem. And the next one is um, references soil that is containing 30% clay. So we have two amounts that we, or one amount that we don't know that we're going to relate to. So we're going to start with X being the amount of soil with 30% clay. So we're going to use this. The first soil amount times the percent of clay plus the second soil amount times the percent of clay is going to equal the resulting amount times the resulting percent amount of clay. So based on that information we have 30 percent of some amount of clay that we don't know. We're going to add that to 70 percent of some amount of clay but remember if we know that it's 10 gallons total then the result is going to be 10 minus x because whatever this x is this is going to be the difference between 10 and X. And then that's going to result in 50% of 10 gallons of clay. So, let's simplify this. 3 tenths times X is 3 tenths X plus 7 tenths times 10 is 7. And 7 tenths times negative X, which is negative or subtract 7 tenths X. And then 5 tenths times 10 is 5. So, Simplifying further, we end up with negative 4 tenths x because 3 tenths plus a negative 7 tenths is negative 4 tenths plus 7, and then we're going to iso start isolating our variable. So 7 minus 7 is equal to 5 minus 7. That leaves us with negative 4 tenths x equals a negative 2. Now you might be saying, wait a minute, we can't have a negative answer. But the fact that we have a negative divided by a negative is going to give us a positive answer. 
and 4 tenths into 2 is 5. So, 5 gallons of the 30% clay soil and 10 minus 5 equals 5. So 5 gallons of the 70% clay soil must be mixed to make 10 gallons of 50% clay soil. Alright, so try exercise 2 on your own. Check your answers by continuing the video. Alright, so the equation negative or er, uh, 2 tenths x plus 8 tenths times quantity of 6 minus x equals 4 tenths times 6 means that how many units are in the total mixture? That would be 6. What percents are related to the two solutions that are combined to make the final mixture? That would be 20% and 80%. And the two solutions combined to make 6 units of what percent? That would be 40%. And then here's the answer to the last part. If the result was, in for instance, 4 gallons, then we would have 4 minus x instead of 6 minus x. All right, let's wrap this up. So what is the general structure of expressions for mixture problems? Well, the general equation looks like the following. The whole quantity is equal to the part plus the part. Utilizing this structure makes an equation that looks like the following. The percent of the resulting quantity times the amount of the resulting quantity is equal to the percent of the first quantity times the amount of the first quantity plus the percent of the second quantity times the amount of the second quantity. How do mixture and population problems compare? Well, these problems both utilize the equation quantity is equal to percent times whole. Mixture problems deal with quantities of solutions and mixtures, as well as potencies, while the population problems deal with subgroups and categories. Alright, we'll see you in class.